When I was 26 years old, I decided to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, or at least a big chunk of it. At that time, I wasn't living a life that you would guess that somebody, you know, would decide to go off and hike this wilderness trail by herself. I was very much at what I think of as the sort of bottom of my life. My mother had died very suddenly of cancer about four years before. She was 45 years old. She thought she had a bad cold. It quickly uh, progressed to something that we thought was worse. We never dreamed it was cancer, but um, we soon found out that indeed it was. And she died seven weeks later uh, to the day after her diagnosis. I was really at this moment that I decided to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, I guess sort of lost. My family had really disintegrated in the wake of my mom's death. I had tried to keep us all together, but I didn't really have the, the sort of sustaining power that uh, a mother has and that I didn't know was there until after my mom died. I had been married at the time to someone I cared for and loved very deeply, but I just was really too young to be married and certainly too young to nurture that kind of commitment and bond um, given my own grief and what was happening in my life. And so I, I drive um, to Oregon and catch a plane to Los Angeles and catch a ride to the town of Mojave, California. And it was there that I began my hike in the Mojave Desert. I was out there by myself. I had never gone backpacking before, not one night. And I didn't uh, really listen to any of the warnings that, that people had given me about weight and how it was really important to just be very, very, very careful about what to take. So I get out there and I have, you know, um, ridiculous things like a saw um, that I don't know what exactly I was going to, to, to cut, but I had that. I had many other things and um, I could really not actually lift my backpack. I couldn't lift it even like a centimeter at all. And yet I had to carry it, um, you know, 1100 miles through the wilderness. By the end of like day three, I was literally um, bleeding from like various places on my body where the backpack made contact with my with my shoulders and my my hips and my feet um, were were terribly blistered and it was agony um, when I when I wasn't thinking about those very uh, immediate concerns. What was really happening inside of me is I was essentially coming to terms with my life. And things came up that were surprising. Um, of course, my mother's death was this huge thing um, for me. And I certainly thought about her a lot on the trail. But I also thought sometimes negative things about her. You know, for the first time, I was really in touch with my sense of rage about her death. And of course, it doesn't make any sense that I would blame her. Of course, my mother wanted to live. And I realized that you know, later that, that I needed to, to do that to kind of to get to the other side of, of my grief. And there is no other side where you arrive on the shore and then you walk away and you're clean. But I certainly, you know, got to the other side of something so I could go on. And I think that um, the trail enabled me to do that. I finished my trip in a town called Cascade Locks uh, on the Columbia River. It's just east of uh, the city of Portland, Oregon, where I now live. And there's this place called the Bridge of the Gods that spans the Columbia River. And it's this beautiful bridge. Um, I, I knew all through my hike, really, once I went, uh, th th this was my destination. And I wasn't going to stop till I got there. By the time I reached that place, I felt um, not transformed in this kind of neat arc of a way that, that I think that we, we sort of hope for or look for when we take a, a big journey such as the one I took. But I felt like I would never be at that bottom again, at that place I was when I began. Now I'm 43. I finished hiking the trail two days before my 27th birthday. And yet, you know, now I look back and I can see that everything that I am is born of everything that I gathered back um, to myself on that trip.